Well, 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 what do we have here? Let me guess, you are an aspiring Blender artist and feel overwhelmed with the gigantic amount of things to learn for mastering Blender. Exactly that we are going to tackle now in this video to increase your productivity in learning Blender to create amazing 3D art as soon as possible. So let's jump into the first super important tip, which is don't try to learn all notes at once. So many beginners feel overwhelmed when they open the shader or geometry notes editor because there are so many notes and functions to work with. And that's okay. It is okay and normal to feel overwhelmed because there is a lot of stuff to learn and explore. But please do yourself a favor and don't try to learn all these notes at once. Let alone memorize all the names, inputs and outputs or something like that. Notes are tools which you use for certain tasks when you need them. So there is no need to learn the large list of different notes and which plugs they have, for example. It is way more important to learn the principles of 3D and understand the underlying logic. Because then you can solve every problem with the right tools available for you. And with time you will just naturally increase your toolset while solving problems or creating shaders, for example. Tip number two. Don't watch too many do this and do that tutorials. Don't get me wrong, there is nothing bad about plain follow along tutorials. I have uploaded a bunch of them myself. But these are more for solving a specific problem or applying a specific shader without thinking too much about it. If you want to learn Blender, these kind of tutorials might not help you very much because often there is not enough time to explain things deep enough for beginners to understand much. Sometimes things get explained, I do that myself, but mostly the videos are as long as they have to be, which is rather short. So there are exceptions, but for understanding Blender I would not recommend that to a beginner. But of course you can watch specific tutorials to see the approach of an expert solving a problem, to see the possibilities and adapt that knowledge for example. But even for that you have to be a bit experienced to abstract calculating methods to a different problem. And this brings me to my third tip. Learn the basics of vector math. I know this point might upset you if you made bad experiences with math in school, but this is maybe the most important thing to learn at all in 3D. For 3D and thereby Blender it is super crucial to know at least the basics of vector math, because you're working with vectors every minute when you use Blender. Using normal vectors or positions and calculate them to receive a certain effect is the daily business of a 3D artist. If you only want to do hard surface modeling or sculpting that is less regular of course, but still a basic knowledge. You don't have to dive deep in complex math, but you should at least know how to add and subtract vectors or the principles of trigonometry. There are many free ways to learn all that stuff quickly, like the Khan Academy or just YouTube courses. Do yourself a favor and invest some hours into basic vector math. It will make things way easier in the future. You will understand shaders and geometry node builds way easier if you can understand where key vectors are pointing at. Speaking of math, tip number four, think with visual math in your everyday life. Yes, you can increase your Blender knowledge without even using Blender. Everything around you is made out of mathematical patterns and functions, whether you look at a rusty metal, moss, flowers, stone walls, spider webs, trees and so on. All of those are either noise patterns, curves with distributed points, scattered instances on surfaces, etc. When I had an excessive Blender learning phase, I used every opportunity to analyze everything around me in a Blender aspect. For example, when you're waiting for a bus, take a look at the plants around you or the material of the houses in your view. How could you reconstruct these patterns mathematically or how would you rebuild the topology of a house front? Try to imagine a wireframe for example, how it would fit on the object. Or imagine a step-by-step -step way to rebuild that object you saw. Take a photo for example and when you're at home try to transfer that thought into a model or shader. You will encounter problems, for example with coordinates, and then think about a solution. By doing that over and over again, you will get better very soon, because you're growing into a Blender problem solver. And that brings me to tip number 5. Set yourself challenges that you can accomplish. 
try to organize your challenges in a way that they are inside of your capabilities. Of course, you should push your limits to increase the knowledge in a long term, but take care that you don't demotivate yourself too much. When Blender starts to lose its fun, it's way harder to learn because you have to force yourself. In general, you learn more efficient when you have fun, because you naturally get back to it and internalize the learned skills way better. If you feel demotivated, don't drop the project completely, I would rather recommend to simplify it or leave out some things which frustrate you too much. With time, you will get bored by the easy projects and naturally seek the more complex version to get back to. I know very well how hard it can feel if you don't understand certain things and some tutorials look like magic to you. Basic vector math is the magic word. That's what you need to understand 90% of geometry node builds, as already pointed out. With these tips, you will actually improve your 3D pretty quickly instead of just tinkering around while stagnating. Which can be fun, of course, too, but if you want to learn Blender, it will help you definitely. So, let's come to the bonus tip of today. Make sure to leave some feedback under this video to let me know how I can improve in improving you. And if you want, subscribe to the channel to never miss a tutorial or support me on Patreon. So, don't let Blender demotivate you and... Why are you still watching this video? Look out of the window or take a walk to find something to reconstruct. Have fun learning and see you in the next one.